So you've moved into your new student accommodation in Freshers' Week and you're looking to bake something. Now, you might not have all the necessary equipment given you've just moved in. Well, have no fear because there's a Scottish classic that you can do right now with just three ingredients, some flour, some butter and some caster sugar and with very limited equipment. You won't even need any scales. Let's get started. Roll up your sleeves because it might be a bit messy. Now, shortbread is a very versatile recipe because it operates on this ratio. One part caster sugar, two parts butter and three parts plain flour. And if you don't have a scale, it doesn't matter the exact amount of each individual ingredient you have, just so long as you have that ratio of ingredients. But if you are concerned about exact uh, amounts, you can figure out roughly by what you have remaining in a bag. So if you figure out the net weight, one kilogram, and say pour out a third of this bag, well, you know that you've used up 333 grams of sugar. But ultimately, uh, if you, so long as you have that one ratio, you should be fine. And additionally, if you want to measure the amount of butter you have, you can use these guides on the packet and you'll just cut along each line of how much butter you want. So if I want about 150 grams, I'll cut about here. It also helps if you cut your butter into cubes before using it, as this helps it dissolve into the dough more efficiently. Once your ingredients are ready, pour in your caster sugar, your butter, about 100 grams of it here, and finally, your flour. There we go. Then, knead the mixture until it forms a bread-like dough. Once your dough is formed, sprinkle some flour onto a chopping board or a flat surface and rub it in. Now get your dough and roll it flat. You can use a rolling pin like this. Or, if you don't have one, any kind of large bottle will do. Then roll it until it's about half a centimetre thick. Then put some non-stick parchment paper onto a baking tray. Using your finger as a guide, cut the dough into finger-sized biscuits, making sure to be careful with the knife. Then, once the biscuits are cut to size, take each one from the chopping board and place it on the tray, making sure they're evenly spaced out so they don't bake into each other. Then, give each biscuit an imprint with the prongs of a fork. Once you've placed all the biscuits onto the tray, sprinkle some sugar onto them. This will help glaze the biscuits when they're in the oven. Then, preheat your oven to 155 degrees centigrade fan and insert the tray, baking for about 15 to 20 minutes. After that time has elapsed, remove the tray, leave the shortbread to cool, and they should come out browned and ready to eat, perhaps with some tea.